G'day mate, welcome to Captain Industry with me, Judy. Today, today is going to be a big episode. A lot of things to do, a lot of things to cover. And we're actually going to do a full sweep through the base, covering mm, pretty much every aspect of it. At the same time, I do need to get steel up and running, so we're going to be doing a steel build. Luckily, somebody published a tutorial video on how to do steel a couple of days ago, so that should make life a little bit easier. Uh, the other thing we need to do, I need to thank you guys for the likes on the video you guys watching the video enjoying the videos liking the videos clicking the subscribe button and i need to give a special thanks to those that are going above me on those that are choosing to support the channel because as you may or may not have realized the videos are ad free i have to do an ad at the start and an ad at the end otherwise youtube tanks the performance of the videos outright they just don't recommend them and suggest them to anybody which is a bit of an issue as a content creator you know if your videos don't show up to anybody yeah 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 so we run an ad at the start ad at the end but there's no ads in the guts of the video and to do that i ask you guys to consider supporting the channel now you've got a couple of options you can either come across to patreon starts off at two dollars per month or right beside the like button which you should have clicked by now can you click the like button very much appreciate it subscribe button if you haven't clicked that one you probably should that way you'll get updates on you know new tutorial videos new let's play videos all that sort of stuff there's the join button, and I've had a number of people click the join button, which is very, very much appreciated. Keeps the channel running, keeps the, the, the income coming, keeps things moving, and it'll set you back all of, well, starts off at a dollar per month. A dollar per month to support the channel, and I very, very much appreciate it. Like I said, it keeps the ads off on the channel, because it's something I started this year, actually. We, we, we wanted to move to a completely ad-free, or as ad-free as we can, mm, ecosystem, ecosystem, because I value my time and pretty sure you value your time and nobody wants to sit through ads so we're, we're trying it this year i'm hoping we can keep it a thing i want to thank those that are going above me on and are clicking the buttons clicking the buttons either becoming a youtube member or becoming a patreon supporter and with that out of the way i want to name some at least at least one vehicle per per episode per per stream per per video that's the words i'm looking for so we're going to be going for the very very latest uh youtube member which is a whole bunch of fun because I need to pronounce the name. Faga beefy, Faga beefy, Faga beefy, yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. So thank you for becoming a YouTube member. Thank you for choosing to support the channel. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, you now have your very own truck in Captive Industry. So with that out of the way, we need to cover a lot of things. Now, in case you've been living under a rock, we had blueprints or copy paste of belts released just yesterday. So which should hopefully make our steel build a little bit easier. But there's a whole bunch of things I need to cover before we get to steel all the way over here. I'm going to start here. We're going to work our way left to right, and we're going to start off with dumping, okay? So I have two dumping zones. Uh, these are both controlled dumping zones by having a mind control tower that has selected that only certain things can be dumped in certain areas. So this area here is only dumping dirt. That's all we're allowed to dump. We'll be adding compost to it right about now because we're going to be making compost in just a couple of seconds. So this area is just dirt. Nothing but dirt can be dumped in here. Reason I want dirt dumped here is that gives us grassland. Grassland means I can add more farms. We're going to need somewhere for more farms. On top of that, uh, I have two headlands being put together. One right here, which we're not going to add to just yet. Actually, I think I can add to uh, that one. Yes. Yes. So I have a second one here, a reserved one that we're going to add to shortly. But I have two headlands, uh, which are made out of, well, rock, slag, and gravel. The reason we're using those three materials is they are very solid compared to dirt. We can see dirt here that's being, whoop, dirt that's being dropped in here is sliding very, very far. Whereas our rock and our gravel is not sliding nearly as far. It's a much more solid material. So I'm trying to build two headlands out of a more firm material to hold in the loose stuff, which we're going to be filling all the way through here. I do have this one. This is a general dumping zone. This is this area up here, which is trash. Yeah, we're just throwing the trash in the sink. It's, it's, we're building more foundations from our trash, okay? Think of it like recycling. So uh, that's the first thing I want to cover. Next thing I want to cover is the copper dump or the copper area. We have the boys trying to mine up to this top area. I do want to get access directly up here, mainly because I actually want to send some excavators up here and just clean off the top layer of soil. So I have soil all through here that I'd really like to dig out. So I'm trying to get access up to that higher level. At the same time, we've got the dump squad to increase 
our copper fortifications. Yeah, because it's basically become a fortification at this point. Um, so yeah, we're just adding a bit more copper to the general dump. You know, I, I, if it's out of the ground, it means I can dig up more rock and more, more dirt, and I can dump it in the sea. So that's the second thing we want to talk about. Third thing is farms. I've already swapped over some of the other farms, but at the moment we are doing, we're doing potatoes and we're doing green manure, which is giving us a average per sixty seconds, sixty, 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 yes, yeah, sixty seconds average per minute of nine point eight potatoes. I want to actually change out the green manure for vegetables, which is going to give us 5.4 and 5.6. It will take down the fertilizer fertility of the soil, but that's perfectly okay because we have crop rotation. It, 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 it gives us more food overall. Uh, the other important thing I should know is potatoes are, for three months, you get 58 of them. For four months of vegetables, you get 60. So potatoes is actually more food per minute, I guess you'd call it, overall, but uh, also consume slightly more water. So we're going to swap both of these farms over to the vegetable potato method, which should give us a whole lot more vegetables. Not that I really need vegetables, but that's okay because I have a use for potatoes because we actually have a problem with could not store all potatoes after harvest. Yeah. So what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be putting a, uh, a bin here. Uh, hang on. Cancel. Shift C. And that now copies all the settings. Okay. We're going to have you one bar of keep full. We are going to bring a belt into there. And now I can unity everything. And it magically appears. Probably should have built you as a tier two. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So this game is going to give us potatoes and potatoes. This is also full of potatoes, but has no room for vegetables. We're going to kick out the potatoes, which will instantly transport them back to the shipyard, which is okay, I guess. And then the truck's going to be forced to bring them back here. But this gives an access point for potatoes to come from the far two farms. Three farms? Three farms. And be jumped, dumped in here. Okay. Problem is I still have too many potatoes. But we did get access to a whole bunch of technology. We need to go through some of these. So uh, advanced logistics. We've sort of covered that in a previous episode. But it did just get an update. I knew the update was coming. I'm going to end up doing a standalone tutorial video on that. The other one, which it looks like bio, biofuel, biofuel, that's the one. Biofuel gives us a few new new buildings. We're going to actually be playing with two of these uh, in today's video. But the first one I want is the, what are you called? Anaerobic digester. Yeah, like I said, Jetty can't pronounce words. It's fine. Words are hard. All right. We're going to be putting down one of these guys. Now, this is going to take in 14 potatoes and turn it into fuel, gas, and compost. Fuel, gas, if we check this and type in fuel. Uh, currently, I can add it to oxygen to get us more diesel. I can also boil it directly uh, or burn it directly into steam to create more power. So I have a couple of options to get rid of it. But we're going to need it in the future. I don't know when in the future, but we'll need it in the future. So we're going to just start storing that. And we're going to be turning our old potatoes into something useful. And I am going to, for right now, do probably something that's going to haunt me. And just plug one of these into each one of these. Now, you're going to chew 14 potatoes per minute. And you make, on average, 5 and 5. So potentially you can chew three farms worth of potatoes. We are consuming about 17 currently. But I have a lot of complaints about having too much potatoes. So the plan is going to be a simple one. We're going to take this and I'm going to tag you. Let's put it there. Let's put it there. And what I want to do is I want to take out of the excess potatoes and plug that in there. And we're just going to throw a unit at the problem so it's done. I want to need to set you to compost, compost, and I need to mark you as keep empty. All right. So the plan is a simple one. We're going to have potatoes come into this connector. When it goes through the connector, 50% is going to go into this storage, which we'll probably upgrade just in case. And 50% is going to come in here and go to this storage. Now, after, oh, and then. That means 25% goes in this storage and 25% goes into the great processor of all spare potatoes. So with all of them upgraded, we can see we have definitely 50% coming here, 50% coming here, 25% here, 25% here. But when this fills up, so if I click pause, yes, it stops filling. We now have 100% coming up here, which means this gets 50% and this gets 50%. 
This is why I want to use uh, connectors rather than putting any sort of belt balancer in. Because I don't need to force priority into these two. I think we're, we're going to have more than enough. Especially with this one also added to the mix. So they trucks can bring the potatoes, dump them into here. You have import off, off and off. Export off and off. Yep. Off, off. Cover all our bases. Make sure the trucks can't get confused. Yep. So... The trucks are just going to bring potatoes over here. In fact, I can even set that to keep empty. Oh, I don't have to set an import condition. They'll just take it out of the farm and be like, we need to dump this somewhere. Oh, look, storage container. We'll dump it right there. What are you picking up? Oh, you're picking up vegetables. Yes. And the vegetables currently still have to be trucked over here. Now, I do have the option as vegetables come out on a separate belt to run a separate belt all the way through there to bring in veggies. We're not doing that right now. We might worry about belting in the veggies in the future. For the moment, we're just going to let the trucks handle that mess. Okay, so that's the next one. Uh, oh, next thing we need is we need more people. I already upgraded one set of housing, which we're going to upgrade you as well. Yeah, okay. So when you upgrade housing level two, couple of bonus things. You get bonus unity, okay? So you get 50% extra unity for that house. Uh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna tell me? You're not gonna tell me? Okay. Uh, you get 50% extra uni for that particular housing block. But on top of that, they, they need extra electricity and extra water. Because they're greedy, greedy people. In saying that, they are finally out of the shipping containers. And then there's something that actually looks like a house. Sort of. A little bit. Well, apartments. We're gonna go with apartments. So, we're gonna upgrade a second one of these, because I need more people. Also gonna unpause the captain's office. So we can get that growth boost in. Because I'm going to need a whole lot more people. We've got 20 workers available. And I need to build a steel build. Which is going to require a lot of workers. Uh, next thing we need to come across and talk about is research. Research is currently not running. Wrong button. I want to finish off the last of the research. Which is a large vehicles. Conveyor belts. Recycling. Fuel station. Tree harvester. And research lab. The catch is... Anything past construction two, not quite anything, but most things past construction two, like the sulfur processing buildings, the sour water stripper, the mix, uh, the, 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 maybe not that one. Yeah. Uh, chem plants, a lot of these items actually require construction part threes. Construction part three requires steel, which requires us to get a steel build up and running. On top of that, we are so close to the end of this tech tree that... I sort of want to rebuild our research anyway. So what I want to do is I want to finish the current research off entirely. And then as soon as we've done that, we're going to rebuild science. In fact, we're probably going to rebuild the whole town center. Oh, upgrade. Upgrade's probably more accurate. I'm going to upgrade the town center to be compatible with more science. Science level three. Uh, which also means I need to unpause you, you and you. And I don't have a population problem yet. Yet being the operative, uh, operative word. Uh, so yes, I have a couple of researchers left to go. And then in the next episode, we need to add steel to this. I need to bring in steel. I need to do constructive construction part level two, uh, level three rather. I also need to make lab equipment level three. And we're going to hopefully do all that right here. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, uh, so that's that done. Uh, iron, I've already set up the next sort of iron dig. We're going to start digging deep into the ground. Because, again, we're going to need more iron. The other thing I want to do, which is going to be a little bit of a cheat, uh, not have you export from there. We want export on keep empty one bar. Yes. Okay. So iron, I have them filling up this container, which is feeding into this container. So this is a private network. This is a private logistics area. This is just these excavators, just these trucks affect this. This one is not connected. This is in the general network, okay? Any truck can access this loose storage, which happens to be full of iron ore that they've been told to empty. They've got nowhere to empty it to, but that's okay, because we're going to give them somewhere to empty it to in just a second. Uh, next one is the vehicle depot. I am going gr to uh, grab... Let's go with two excavators and three trucks. I need a little private crew, my little, my little elite crew, to do some certain jobs around the map. So we're going to have a couple of extras, just a few, to, you know, get some get some extra jobs done, some important jobs done. Ones that I only need a tiny little uh, tiny little specialized crew for. Next up, we're going to come across to Cole. Cole, I have the Diggy Boys digging around the retaining wall. 
because this up here is minus two. We can have a retaining wall go down five levels. When you see the red line, stop digging. Very important, don't dig past the red line. If you do, the walls tend to cave in. So we have these guys digging around uh, from, well, down to level three. And I want to clear out this area because we already know from previous couple of conversations, I need to clear into about, well, I need to put another retaining wall in these tiles and then another retaining wall in these tiles to get to the bottom of this coal. This is planned as potential, maybe future access, unsure, not decided. So yes, but we have a problem of well, I need to clear out all the topsoil. So this is what these guys are doing. They are coming around the outside and clearing out some of the topsoil. Uh, oh, we'll get to you guys. We're not quite there yet. We're, we're, we're one project away. Uh, but my private little working team, which one's done. Where's the other one? Uh, quick deliver, please. All right. My private little working team, the little elite crew, is going to be two excavators and three trucks. And they are going to dump their materials here here and here and their job is to come to this area preferably not get stuck which could be a little bit impossible for them and their job is to dig off the soil the topsoil i just want the topsoil gone okay because the moment when we're digging out the coal here well we can see there's grass there's grass in my coal patch that's less than ideal because what keeps happening is the dirt on the top keeps falling down i don't want the dirt on the top falling down I really, really don't. So we're going to send off the little elite crew of two... Come on, where's that other excavator? 80% oh, done. Sheesh. Okay. We're going to send off the little elite crew to just carve off the top of the map. Okay? That's their only job. They just need to remove all the dirt. Now, advanced logistics. We don't have a problem yet. Nah, we're probably not going to have a problem with this one. We'll leave this one. Okay, next thing I want to talk about is our oil. We did have this as a backup oil, but uh, I sort of wanted to empty it because we're actually going through crude oil far too fast. Um, we do have Mr. Shippy Shippy, who is down at 8,000 barrels, which might sound okay because we started with like 12,000 barrels. The catch is... I just sent him not that long ago out to here to pick up the excess barrels the barrels are in here. Because we're producing enough crude in the oil rig. We're just not shipping it back fast enough. Because this little cargo depot was not big enough. It's not big enough to keep up with supply and demand. The ship goes out. Each cargo module on the ship holds 220 oil. Which is not nearly enough. So we're going to upgrade the cargo depot. And we're going to spend uni on it, of course. And that's going to take us from a size 2 cargo depot to a size 4 cargo, cargo depot. If you remember when we were talking about the cargo depot... Cool, you're back. Yes, alright. So, size 2. Size 2 at 220 each. Uh, and requiring 64 diesel per trip. He's going to get an upgrade. He's going to get an upgrade that's going to require two things. One, he's going to need more people. Two, he's going to get more cargo slots. Don't ask how the ship magically gets longer. We just accept it. Uh, but we are going to need two of those. And I'm going to want four of those. And we're going to spend uni on the whole thing. So, he's going to get bigger. Great. There's a catch, as I said. He's going to need more people, which is fine. He's also going to need more diesel because the ship is bigger. So I can already tell you the maths. It's going to go from 64 diesel per trip up to 100 diesel per trip. But the hope is he can then bring more diesel in to our pipe, which I need to add these pipes really quickly. And there and there. And we'll just unity build those. These are straight copies. So they're already set up with the right filters and import, export, off. So he's going to bring back more diesel, which means we're going to run this harder. Well, he's going to bring back more oil, which means we're going to run the diesel processing harder, which means we should be fine for uh, more diesel overall. The other thing I do need to check is your full, your full. There's no heavy oil on the pipes? No. No, we're still limited by well currently we're limited by we've got just got too much diesel but that's okay i'd much prefer to have too much diesel rather than not enough uh and i don't have any grand diesel storage no i don't hmm that's the diesel pipe 
we might intentionally definitely upgrade you to the next tier and I might as it's mostly out of our way put in a bit of a reserve tank yeah we'll put in a reserve tank here we'll just bring that off the main branch and plug it back into uh, the pipes right there okay back into there and before those connectors would end up being paused, I'd walk away. They'd be paused forever. And we'd end up with no diesel. Diesel. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to splice off the diesel. Uh, just so we have some extra backup storage in case anything goes wrong. Ship has come. Ship has gone. Trust me, it's doubled in size. Uh, it's doubled in size, doubled in crew. But it means we should be able to run this flat out. I do have an issue that there is... With this running flat out, in theory, one boiler should keep up. But we might need to actually make sure. Yeah, we do. We can't burn the steam fast enough. Okay, fine. All right, let's just fix this really quickly. Uh, put that there. Delete. Uni. Uh, put that on there. We need to put that back, sort of desperately important, uh, and do it right now. Power plant that way. Uh, trucks don't need to get access. I know, you don't have any way to burn off the steam. I know. Uh, that into... Whoop, that into there, that into there. Uh, two extra generators, and you need the whole thing. Yeah, it doesn't need flywheels or anything because this is designed. This is a this is a waste product. Okay, I need to burn this off ASAP, and I need all of these to be. No, that's those didn't save. Okay, good to go. Uh, set all those to production level one. Okay, the idea is steam comes in here, we burn it off instantly. I don't need to keep it. I don't need to save it. I need to get rid of it because it's a waste product. Hum. You had steam and it's just instantly. Oh. Maybe setting the one is too high and we have issues. Whatever. It's getting rid of, rid of voice product. We can optimize that in the future. Oh, uh, balancer. I need priority in from you and priority in from you. Okay, cool. So that should fix that problem. All right. Next up along the list is limestone. Limestone's doing the same. We're just carving off some of the top soil around the edge. Technically, limestone comes away of it around here. We're going to have to worry about that in the future. Uh, what is your problem? You are stuck because you're on the low side and everywhere else on the high side. But occasionally, we'll dig a path out and you'll exit. You're fine. And oh, 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 this is the next job. So the next job is these diggy boys. These diggy boys have been and they have removed and flattened out part of this mountain, this whole mountain area, so we can build steel. The other thing they've been doing is they've been carving their way down to the next level. Now, uh, I have put in a retaining wall here, which I probably didn't need considering it hasn't fallen that much. And we've put in another retaining wall right here. Again, I don't know if I actually need the retaining wall. Like, after doing the retaining wall tests and that sort of stuff, and that tutorial video, which if you missed, by all means, look, have a look at the channel. There is a whole tutorial series on Captive Industry. I don't think I actually need these retaining walls. I think we could have just left a sheer cliff face, and it would have been fine. But we've put in the retaining walls. It'll be fine. These guys' job is they're going to dig down to the next level. reason we want to get down to the next level is there's trees. There's trees. Lots of trees. And our little tree harvester duo is currently working through this area with their trucks dumping wood into here. And then the general crew picking up the wood from here and shipping across the map. Okay. So we're using that those advanced logistics as best as we can. But when it comes to these boys, they are digging through solid rock. They're going to be dumping so much rock into these storages. We are going to have them fill up pretty much instantly as you can see it's pretty much full already so what i want to do is i want to set these guys up with a backup plan so their backup plan is here uh that affects dirt and that one that one affects uh more solid material as in remove that as in rock and slag, 
Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go to this mind control tower, which is told, hey, dump your stuff in here. But as you can see, it's going to be full any second. And we've got very busy trucks because all the trucks are trying to come here, pick up stuff, and then take it all the way across the map. I want to set up a backup route with the advanced logistics so to say, hey, if it's full, bring it here. Okay, so they'll try and dump it locally first into these, into these. If they can't, they will follow, well, they'll bring it to this tower's dumping zone, which is here. And, okay, I probably need to redraw that to get out that extra one tile. Yeah, okay, that'll do. So they'll then bring it to this tower's dumping zone, which means, there we go, we got one right there. And they will dump into this pier, because I need both these piers done. Uh, and in fact, we can expand you out a few more tiles and scrape a few more tiles off there. Yep. So that's going to be the plan for those guys, which means the last thing we need to do is we need to do a steel build. Now, due to the updates we've had recently with now I can copy and paste belts, it means I should be able to whack this together fairly easily. We are going to use a U-shaped connector. Oh, actually, no. First off, we're probably going to should talk about why we're building here. We're building here because I have water, I have iron, and I have coal. I have all the three resources we're going to need to do a steel build. So we're going to be building it right here. Whereabouts right here? I don't know. That's the beauty of being able to copy and paste belts. All I know is we're going to be bringing in iron from the left. We are going to be bringing coal in from the right. Now, I know that doesn't make sense when I just said coal is literally right there. But the reason we're going to be doing this is I have this coal mine that's sort of in the way. Okay. I need this coal mine to go away. We need this area for other projects, at least this much of this area, because I need to add to more oil. There's going to be so much more oil processing that we need to do, and I'm going to sort of need to start getting it done early, soon, very soon. So... Okay, that's flat. Uh, yeah... So I need this gone. I need to harvest out all this oil, uh, all this oil, all this coal. So we're going to be spending some time monitoring that and optimizing that in the future. But I'm going to bring coal in from the right. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take slag, uh, height two. I'm going to bring it out to the right. Why to the right? Because that's where the sea is and that's where we're dumping. All right. So with that out of the way, again, if you want to know exactly how I put this together, I did release a tutorial video uh, three days ago now, I think, on exactly how this build goes together, uh, which means we're going to sort of speed run through the whole thing. In saying that whole video was like 10 minutes long because I'm... Please, please. Okay, you won't let me... Oh, armor's off, that's why. Uh, yeah, the whole video is like 10 minutes long anyway. Uh, so we're going to sort of speed run through this one as we sort of sped run. Well, I didn't speed run through the first time. We, we were, I answered all the questions. I provided all the answers. I think the video was actually really good. All right. Iron is going to come in from left. So you go there. Uh, coal is that one. Your iron. Your coal. Uh, your iron. Come on. You are coal. Your iron and you are coal. Okay, all right, that's that done. Uh, flip around to the other side. We now need uh, a cooled caster and let's just put an oxygen furnace. Okay, cooled caster goes over there. Oxygen furnace, cut. Thank you. All right, oxygen furnace comes here with exhaust on the left. Uh, then we're gonna flip it, put one there. I'm gonna copy them both and put them both here. We need to have a smokestack which we're going to put right there we're going to bring a pipe out of there come on connect and out of there and then now we can copy and paste i'm going to copy and paste that i'm going to put it there for that one i'm also going to put it right there for that one and right there for that one that solves so many problems at once all right we're going to put in our molten channels one two three four all right, grab that cool caster. We want cool caster with water on the outside, two tile gap. Uh, that's off by tile, cool. We'll just pick the whole lot up and slide it over. See, isn't it so much easier when you have copy and paste? You go in there, you go in there. Okay, uh, and then we can copy and paste that side, plug that side in right there. Next thing we need is, because we're doing steel, steel requires 
A oxygen. That one. Oxygen. Okay, we need to superheat that steel. And the way we're going to do that is pump far too much oxygen into the atmosphere. And that makes the iron really, really, really hot. Uh, so we need to have that pipe to come to there. And that pipe come to there. I need water. Water is going to come from around the corner over here. We're going to have a groundwater pump right about... Flip. Uh, there. Okay. Water's going to come into that tile and then to that tile, and then to that tile, and then that tile, and I'll have you hang out the end. I don't think I actually need the excess water, but we'll have you hang out the end anyway. We need to plug that one in, that one that in, that one in. We need to grab that oxygen pipe, bring you up to height one, and wrap you around there so you cuddle the other pipe, because pipes that cuddle are the best sort of pipes. We need to bring this one up as well, up to height number one. You get to cuddle, and you get to cuddle. So that just means flat belts. Flat belts is... That goes to there, that goes to there, that goes to there, and that goes to there. Cool. Next thing we need is, whilst we're here, we're also going to make, under chemicals, we're going to make the chemical plant, which is going to actually make the liquid nitrogen, liquid nitrogen, liquid nitrogen we are going to need for science. Catch is, I can't actually access that recipe to, wrong button. We finish research, which is this one. That'll unlock the liquid nitrogen recipe, which needs nitrogen plus steel to make liquid nitrogen, which I want to build right here. So we're going to bring this belt out in preparations, plug that straight in. We're also going to put in a pipe balancer in that tile with a storage, because we're going to want to actually keep some of the excess hydrogen, not hydrogen, nitrogen, nitrogen, the other, other liquid gas, yes. All right, uh, we need to plug that pipe into there that pipe into your input which technically all three of these are input trust me we need to put a little pipe there a little pipe there with a pipe to there to there we need to make sure that if we have excess nitrogen we get rid of it so we're going to dump it in the atmosphere why are we going to dump it in the atmosphere because it causes no pollution because it came from the atmosphere uh to start with we need to prioritize you into that machine that machine and the excess will go into the smokestack is that everything Oh, no, storage. Haven't done storage. Okay. Storage is, we're going to cancel that belt, and I'm going to put in a large storage right here. And the reason I want to do that is I actually want to take that into there, and then have my slag belt come from up there into there. So I actually want to have, do I want it there instead? Yeah, let's do it there instead. Cancel. Uh... Uh, toggle direction. Yeah, let's do it there instead. I like that. Invalid connection? Why? Sure. Okay. So that's where we're going to be storing our slag. Slag. Okay. Next up is the coal line, which is the top belt right there. So I'm going to put you in there. We're going to bring up from there into there. Done. Uh, and then the last one is going to be iron input, which we're going to put here. And I'm going to need a couple of containers just because of advanced logistics, but we'll get to that in a sec. I'm going to plug one directly in and the other one cancel. Uh, I'm going to wrap in under there okay reason i'm going to do two for iron input is technically we need a mark two belt uh no, keep way more full than that uh technically i need a mark two belt to feed all these smelters i don't really want to um, worry about a mark two belt so instead i'm going to use two mark one belts and split the furnaces okay so that's extra that's extra that's extra don't need any of that that's extra that's extra and that's extra so we don't need any of that uh and then i can work out exactly where we're going to put this so i want a truck total navigation okay so we can see that i can climb up to the edge of this fairly easily all this is traversable at the same time if i turn on this overlay as well i can see i have iron here coals over here and i want to build this up as far we're going to go with north so as far up and as far left as possible but I also want to make sure the trucks can climb this little corner of the hill. So we're going to cut that. And I am looking for the first tile. You will let me place it. 
that everybody is happy, which is there. Okay, that storage is sticking out. All right. There, everybody's happy, I think. So where's a truck again? And we're going to look at that one. Everybody looks to be happy. That's mostly away from the iron. Like, that's really deep down. I don't think I'm going to bother with that particular tile. And even if, if I do, what will end up happening is this, we, we get a more advanced smelter in the future. We'll end up rebuilding steel again. I, this is one of the things with Captain Ministry. You do a build that's reasonably good, and then you end up rebuilding it eventually. Do I want to double my steel storage? Yeah, I do. I do. I'm going to be, I'm going to be greedy. I'm going to go with twice the storage. Okay. Twice the storage of what I would normally recommend because I think we're going to need it in the long run. Uh, just because of the way I'm playing for a let's play. But we're going to spend 50 uni. Oh, hang on. Uh, we're going to spend uh, 366 Mark 1 parts plus 840 Mark 2 parts plus 50 odd rubber. That's no nothing. And 40 tier 3 parts that we don't have. Oh. Is iron going to give me a problem? Yeah, iron's going to give me a problem because I need a few of these to stick out. All right, we're going to very quickly, before I uni build the whole thing, uh, I'm going to put you there instead. Because I need one, two, three of them. Yeah, I like that. Okay, double check our layers. That's not too close. Do I want to slide it down? Yeah, I'm getting worried. We're going to slide it down a few tiles. Okay, done. We're going to spend uni on the whole thing, and it's all built. Now, obviously, that didn't get built because that requires tier 3 parts. I don't have tier 3 parts, but we'll have tier 3 parts in the not-too-distant future. All right, what I want to do is uh, set some recipes. So you're going to do that recipe. We're going to copy and paste that to all of them. Uh, you are set up for coal import. You're set up for slag. Go a ways. You are set up for nitrogen with, you know, the nitrogen goes into this pipe, then into the tank. Yep, it's a bug. The devs know about it. They're going to fix it. Uh, that pipe balances don't copy the settings. Yep. Uh, the oxygen is filling up the pipes ready to fire these machines. We just need the iron ore. Don't deliver it. Off. Sheesh. Okay. So we have... Uh, what's the best way to do this? Okay. So I have... These guys. These guys are dumping iron ore here. Okay. This is from the local mine. They're dumping iron ore there. Then this one is set to the public network. The public network. Anybody can do this. They can take the iron ore out of here and they can move it elsewhere. All right. So their job and what they're trying to do all the time is pick up the iron ore from here and take it to anywhere that could do with iron ore, which in our case is going to be that one. Okay. On top of that, what I want to do is I want to set up some other options. So if these guys have filled this iron ore, this one happens to be full, which indirectly means the trucks have dumped into here. This one's also full. I'm going to give them an option to take iron ore into this one, okay? And the way we're going to do that is we're going to have you link to here as a backup plan, okay? And as a backup plan, it is, hey, if on the off chance that you guys fill this chest, well, this chest, this storage, and that storage is full, and that storage is full, and all of this is running flat out, you've got nowhere else to put it, I'll tell you what, you can take it all the way across there, which is a pain in the butt. And... It's a long way away. I don't really want them doing it, but it, I'd prefer them to do that rather than sitting around doing nothing. Speaking of sitting around doing nothing, can we dig out... Uh, all of that, please. Cool, get to work. All right. Uh, yeah, you guys are still digging. I want to take this out to here, probably, and scrape the top off that. And off that. Okay. So, we've got steel up and running. Now, steel up and running doesn't actually do a lot for us right this second until I... Uh, which we have not really enough time to do, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to throw in a single assembly machine, a general assembly machine right here. 
and your job is to do that construction part. We're going to plug you into you. Uh, no, actually, let's do it the other way around. Let's splice off the existing belt. Uh, where's the storage? Storage, 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 storage. Unit storage. We'll put a unit storage there. We'll put you right there. We'll put you into there. And you are going to do that recipe. And you are going to do construction part two. Okay. Uni, all of that. I can't build an assembly two because that requires red parts. Yes, I don't want assembly two. I want a assembly. Well, I don't want a three. I want a two. Uh, that did line up right. It says yes. It doesn't look yes. Uh, quick deliver. All right, so we're going to bring construction part two here, which we're going to basically hand feed into the next machine to make some parts three. Okay. Just so I have some part three available, uh, we're out of workers, which I knew would happen. And it turns out the housing is full. Well, technically, fixed, right? Yeah. Yeah, we don't need to run the edicts. We've run them for long enough. Okay, so this episode, we got steel up and running. We got our farms optimized. Uh, the great wood shack is still being filled up with wood. We are clearing out... Yeah, you're doing the exact same thing. Okay. So we need you to have a backup plan, which, what are you? You are dirt. Okay. If I assign, because dirt is full. If I assign that to there, you guys now have a backup location to dump dirt. In the meantime, we'll upgrade you, just because why not? And you guys, same story. I don't want you hanging around. I much prefer that you drop dirt off if you possibly can. All right, so we've got coal up and digging. We've got iron up and digging. We are finishing off the research. We've upgraded the houses. We are uh, mining out copper, trying to get up to the next plateau just so I can clear off the topsoil there. We are dumping so much crap in the sea. Uh, as you can see, the pier method is going well already. And... It broke. Uh, you there, very quickly, that, not that, just compost and dirt and edit area. This is my only workaround I've found with advanced logistics is when you set a tower, uh, to be the advanced logistics, it breaks all normal non-advanced logistics deliveries. It makes it exclusive. So the fact that I linked those in there means general trucks couldn't dump compost and dirt in there instead. The answer is just have two of them. Just have two of them covering the exact same zone. I don't know why it is the way it is, but it is, and that is how currently the developers intended it. I do expect it will change. But this is what we're going to call this episode. We've got a lot done. We have a lot more to do. We need to go through all that research, except for Cargo Depot too, because we just did that. Uh, we need to go through all that research in the next couple of episodes. Oh, and Construction 3. See, we made the list shorter already. Uh, yeah, we're G, G for research. We need to go through a whole bunch of things. At the same time, I need to send the shippy shippy out. We're going to be sending the shippy shippy out between episodes whilst we get a whole bunch of research done. I'm really happy with how Steel Smelter came, came together and where it's placed. And yeah, we're just going to do a whole lot of whole lot of small, mini, meaningless tasks between now and the next episode. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a longer episode, but there were so many things that I needed to jam in. So thank you guys if you stayed around all the way to the end. Thank you for letting me click keep all the likes on the videos. And at the same time, thank you for clicking the subscribe button. And really, really big thank you to Fraga Beefy and those others that are going above and beyond and are actually helping to support the channel with clicking the join button, clicking uh, or joining Patreon or, well, anything else that you guys do. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.